Mets have been his team. Shea Stadium has been his home. And Mel Stottlemyre has been his pitching coach. I know it's going to be a big challenge. I knew guys on other teams going to be up for him a little bit more. And my main thing was just to try to pick up where I left off. Great curveball. Good and gets his first strike out of the year. The K's go up here at Shea Stadium. In 85, you know, you surpassed anything that I thought that you were able to do, you know, that early in your career. I really believe that Dwight Gooden could have won uh, a game uh, in its entirety by just throwing his fastball. That's how good and how overpowering he was in that Cy Young Award year. I think in 85, the, you know, the thing that I remember most about you and, uh, you know, a turning point for me as far as the way that I thought about you is that uh, you had reeled off about five or six games where you'd really pitched well and, and uh, you, you come to me and you said, you know, I think I'm getting ready to go on a roll. And uh, me being a pitcher for years, I was thinking going on a roll. I said, man, uh, I never was able to win five or six games in a row, but now you're telling me that you're getting ready to go on a roll. And you really did. Dwight Gooden is now 16 and three on the year as he pitches his 10th complete game and fifth shutout of the season. And when you put together your pitching staff, if your number one pitcher can be 10 games over 500, you have a heck of a pitching staff. But for this young man to be 20 games over 500 certainly blew your mind. I don't think I ever saw a pitcher get by, not only get by, but be as successful as he was in 1985 with only two pitches. Not since Koufax has a pitcher had the overhand fastball and the overhand curveball. There's a curve and goodbye. And the first thing that went through my mind was, here is a right-handed Sandy Koufax.